What up guys, TechnoYT here. Today I'm going to be going over my entire phone collection. Um, I've packed on a couple, a lot of phones since I haven't been uploading. I'm just too lazy to upload videos on everything that I've gotten, but I guess we'll go over everything now. Here's a $23 fully working HTC 11 Life that I got off of Mercari. It is um, locked to T-Mobile and has two hairline cracks. Otherwise fully working. I'm not going to be turning on all these phones because I don't want to have to turn them off. Actually, this is my second time recording this video because I turned a phone on. It just continuously buzzed and I I can't like pause the video on when I'm recording on an iPhone. I have to completely stop it and I don't want to have to edit it. Here's a OnePlus One that I got for $23. I actually think I got this for $24 and I got this for $23. Uh, it's fully working, mint condition. It's on Android 10, custom rom I got this from in a trade with Landon Deracer. It needs a new screen. I'm pretty sure it works otherwise. Here I have an LG G7. I got this in a trade with Dejer. Um, this thing fully works besides the fast charger. Where the charging port, it doesn't fast charge, but it works. And the board is locked to T-Mobile. It's finance. I'm going to be getting an unlocked board and new charging port to put in this within a trade. Um, here I have an HTC 11 Plus. This thing is fully working mint condition, unlocked all carriers. I got this in a trade with Jake Carroll, and he got it off of Mercari for $50. And then I, I like basically begged him to trade that to me, and I gave him a bunch of stuff for it. Here I have a Sony Xperia XE3. I got this off of Landon DeRacer. Um, I showed him the listing on Mercari where this is being sold. It was like 20, it was like $30, and um, it had a boot loop. And I got it, and it was a well, it was a software issue. And then I got when I got it, I fixed it, and it's mine now. I traded my S8 Plus and iPhone 7 for it. Next, I have a Moto Z2 Force. So I got this thing a week after it came out. Um, this thing is fully working, unlocked. And it used to be on T-Mobile, but it's unlocked now. It has one crack in the camera lens, and the housing has several dings because I didn't always have a case for it. Also, the screen, the shatter shield has been removed because it was insanely scratched under on the shatter shield, so it's just it has a screen protector on it. Here I have my Redmi Note Seven, Xiaomi Redmi Note Seven. I got this about like a couple months after it came out, but it, I got it unlocked, brand new, and it's the 128 gigabyte model. It's the best Redmi Note Seven you could have gotten that wasn't the Pro Edition. It's uh, mint condition, besides a couple of scratches on the back when I was taking photos of it on concrete, and it decided to scratch. Um, it has a case and screen protector. This is like the third screen protector I've had, and the other one's cracked, but I've had this for over a year now, I think. I have the original box and all the accessories still inside of it. Here I have an LG K51. I got this brand new off of Mercari for $80, and I have the original box and accessories and everything for it. It's mint condition besides a single scratch on the back, which I happened when I tried to put a glass screen protector on the back, and then it, it just cracked, and then shad, shad, or like it shattered and shards flew everywhere, and then it scratched it, sadly. But it's not a bad scratch. Oh, it's even on. But yeah, it's fully working. It's locked to um, Boost Mobile, though. Here I have an LG V40. This has a bad ESN and two hairline cracks. I actually got this originally off of Murphy123, um, at least the logic board. The screen is from this V40, which I'll go in on a bit. But I basically swapped motherboards. So this is a bad ESN, lost or stolen V40 in a cracked casing but it fully works otherwise it's mint on the back and on the housing as well and it has this tech 21 case on it next i have my new main phone pretty much it's an lg v40 um it has the board from this one which was this board was originally at&t but i actually got it unlocked with an unlock code and it fully works it's mint condition housing is mint and has like no scratches on the screen i put a screen protector and case on it and it's my new main phone um i don't think there's any issues with this thing and I'm probably going to be trading this for the LG G7 parts phone I was talking about. Because I don't have a use for this and it wouldn't sell for much. And I need LG G7 parts. And then back here are a bunch of etc. things that I just haven't messed with yet, I guess. Or I have messed with them, but I don't know where to put them. Here are some HTC Desire. I forgot the name of it, but I put it on a custom ROM of Android 4. And it's stock and it fully works. I like this phone. Uh, next, we have a ZTE Axon 7. I have the bottom part to it. I just took it off. Um... This phone, the motherboard, battery, and or charging port doesn't work. Or screen, I have really no idea. It just doesn't show anything. I got this in a trade with uh, PsychYT, and I'm just waiting to get a parts phone at some point so I can figure out what's wrong with this one. It's literally mint condition. And next I have a T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4. It has a case and screen protector. It's not unlocked, but I could probably get it unlocked if I called them. The reason it's not unlocked is because it doesn't have an unlocking app, so I can't like apply to unlock it unless like I call them or go in person. It has a case and screen protector, and it's on Android 8 on a custom ROM. It's mint condition, I'm pretty sure as well. 
Here I have an iPhone 5C. Um, this thing, I believe, fully works. I don't, I don't know. It's iCloud off, I know that. 16 gigabytes. Um, Moto X2. This thing is mint condition, fully working on at and I think the battery is not very good, but that's just Motorola phones pretty much when they age. Here's this Microsoft phone. It was Google, or not Google locked. It was Microsoft account locked when I got it, and I bypassed it, and it fully works now. Here I have a Moto G2. Uh, it's on a custom ROM of Android 10, but it's insanely slow. It's faster than it was on Android 4, though. This thing, I think, believe has a dying NAND chip because it's just unreasonably slow. And I have, like, even my Moto G1 that's on the same OS as this is just faster for some reason. But it's mint with a case, with a screen protector. I used to have a case for it, but I don't I don't have it on it right now. Next, I have a Moto G3. There's my another case for my Redmi Note 7. Oh, and the Axon 7 bottom part, but that's just sitting there. Here I have a Moto G3. It's fully working. I th I don't I can't remember the carrier for this thing, but it's on Android 10. This is the upgraded 16 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte of RAM model, and it's mint condition, fully working on the custom ROM, as I said. And next we have another fully working 5C. I just got a couple of them a while ago and I just haven't made a video or anything on them. And they're fully working 16 gigabytes. I believe the pink one's unlocked as well. Oh, and the home button like spins. I don't know, that was an issue with the 5s and 5Cs. Here we have TCLLX. I got this one, it came out like a week after it came out, maybe, or like under a month at least. It's mint condition, it has a screen protector. It's literally mint besides a single scratch on the camera, which I don't even know how it happened. I think it happened in my pocket or something because it just like came out of nowhere and it fully works. I just don't use it. I got it for a video pretty much. Oh no. Okay. Here I have an LG G4, but it looks like my screen protector cracked. That's a bummer. This thing fully works. Um, used to have a leather back on it, but I traded the, f but I, I got another phone with the regular back and I prefer this to the leather one I had and I traded the leather phone backed one off. So I, it's just a regular G4 now. It's on Sprint. And it used to have a mint screen protector, but it's cracked now, which stinks. But uh, it fully works otherwise. No boot loop issues. Might get one in the future, though, I would presume. Here's an iPhone 5S, mint condition, unlocked, 16 gigabytes, I believe. Nothing special about it. It's on Android, or iOS 12, not Android. Um, here's a Galaxy S7, mint condition, Exynos, unlocked. Uh, has, like, a couple scratches on the back. And I got it off of Mercari for, like, $20 around to like I think it was 25 and had a bad battery and I had to replace the battery and it fully works now as a case and screen protector now we're getting on to the last stuff in this drawer at least here I have my j7 refine which is also fully working and it's mint condition and I got from the target bin yesterday and I think it's on as well you can see this one you can this one's on boost mobile as well okay now we're gonna get on to these bins of phones so let me just get this out of here. Okay, these are like, I guess my Samsungs and just like etc. things, I don't know. Here I have a Galaxy S3 and a custom ROM of Android 4, Verizon, fully unlocked, works fine. Um, T-Mobile, I think this one has a, I, I don't know what's wrong, I think it's just a screen that's wrong with them, but it's not a custom ROM. The screen is like really strange, but it works. It works, but it's just, I don't know, it's just strange, I don't know how to explain it. Here's a Galaxy S3 and Verizon, I believe this thing is fully working, just old. Here's another Galaxy S3. This thing works. I think it's on a custom ROM of Android 5. This is a Verizon S3, I believe. I don't actually know. This is a Boost Mobile S3. It's on a custom ROM, fully working. I believe the charging port doesn't work. Yeah, the charging port doesn't work. It's broken. And you can't replace it because it's soldered to the motherboard. Here I have a bricked Verizon S3. I tried to downgrade it to a version of Android. Then it, it turned... Oh, no. I tried to do an, a, something to unlock the bootloader. I used an app, but it turned out it was for my phone was on an incompatible version of android and it bricked the thing so that's kind of sad but i could just put another motherboard in it at some point they're, they're cheap here i have a t-mobile revel plus this thing fully works even though it's bent and shattered it's financed i believe but it, it works otherwise even the fingerprint scanner which is cracked it still works it's very strange i didn't know that could happen or it could still work here i have an s4 mini it has a bad amoled and a hairline crack i believe it works otherwise it's on us cellular LG L90, this thing works. It's just hideously slow, or horrendously slow, I guess. Galaxy S1 has a screen protector. I got it like this. It's just meh. It's meh condition. T-Mobile fully working. Doesn't have a battery. LG G3, I bricked this thing trying to downgrade it to a different version of Android, and it turned out you couldn't do that. And I don't know why it even let me try and do it, but yeah, it's bricked now, and apparently 
I can't fix it unless I get like a donor motherboard, but it was fully working besides that or before that. Technically, there's nothing wrong with the motherboard. It's just I reflash the stock ROM. I'd have to do something with the NAND. That's like stuff I can't do, like soldering. It's really weird. Here I have my Moto G. Oh, yeah, I have two of the Moto G ones. I believe I have three, actually. Um, one of these is on a custom ROM of Android 10, and it was originally on Boost Mobile. And another one is just on Verizon on Android 4, I believe. I'm not quite sure which one it is. They're both identical. Here I have an LG... Uh, I forgot the name of this thing. It's like it, it's like the Fortune 2, I think, but it's like a different name. I don't know. It's fully working with the screen protector. And it's... Uh, I don't... I forgot what carrier it's locked to. Galaxy S2 to mobile fully working. Has bent battery pins, but you could still put a battery in just a certain angle and it works. Another S2 smashed fully working. S2 Epic on Sprint fully working, just needs a battery. The old battery bloated and needs a new one now. And the T-Mobile S2 batteries don't fit in it. This is the same battery as the S1 that I have. T-Mobile HTC My Touch thing fully working on Android 2, I think. LG X Power fully working. Locked to some carrier, I think it's Boost. Here I have an Alcatel Raven fully working mint condition. And a Galaxy S5. This was my old, old main phone. I actually made a video on this like four years ago, and I got it from the Target bin. Um, it has no SIM card tray because someone like broke it, and then I just removed it myself. And it fully works besides that. It's on Verizon. Okay. Um, let's just move this stuff out of the way. You know, I'm probably going to have to use iMovie. I might as well just end this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. There's no pause button on iOS when you're recording a video. So I have to end it every time I want to like do something so um here's a bunch of iphone 4 4s's and 5s i think i'm just only going to go over the 5s the 4s and 4s's most of these are pretty much unlocked fully working besides like some are cracked and like i don't know if some have bad esns i don't even check them they're just if they work i just put them in here i've got a bunch of 3g there's one 3g and one 3gs in white they're kind of met condition there's an iphone 2g that has a bad battery and no back and stuff a bunch of ipods all of these work and there's some fourth gens so not really going to take all these out here i've got an ipod nano third gen i believe fully working ipod Sh nano what is this i think it's a shuffle first gen ipod nano first gen then two ipod nano second gens and an ipod mini and an ipod nano fifth gen i think and then here we have this 5c uh fully working i think it's 16 gigabytes all of mine are fully working 16 gigabytes another one fully working 16 gigabytes i i think uh, i believe two of these and I I know that all of these fully work, but two of them have bad home buttons, and that's the only issues. And I need to figure out how to fix that. I don't know which ones it is. One of the white ones does, and then another one does, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, fully working on, like, iOS 10, I think. Uh, iOS 6 unlocked. Um, if my off, but it has a passcode, and I'm just waiting to find some way that I could bypass the passcode. But it's my off, but I'm just trying to keep it on iOS 6, and I can't do that if I want to reset it. It would update it. Here I have an iPhone 5. Uh, what is wrong with that? I think this one works. I don't think there's any issues with it. I don't I don't even remember that one. Um, iPhone 5 fully working. I still don't. What is this? I don't even remember what the phone this was. I presume it works. Here's an iPhone 5 uh, fully working, I think. Uh, iPhone 5 fully working. It's just stinky on the back. And then this iPhone 5, I believe, is locked. Or does it just not have a screen? I don't, I don't even know. I don't keep up with these phones anymore. I don't use iPhones or anything like that. Um, I have a couple other iPhone 5s that are like a 64 gigabyte one that's over here, and I'll show you that right now. Just going to finish putting these away. And then over here, I've got this uh, 64 gigabyte iPhone 5. It has a bad charging port. Um, here's another iPhone 5. Uh, this the thing works, but it has a iCloud on it, but no passcode at 32 gigabytes. And then I believe that's it for over here. Oh, I've also got an iPhone SE FMI off. It needs a new housing, a new battery, and a new screen. And it's water damage, but it works, I believe. I'm just waiting to get a parts phone. Then I've got an iPhone 5S, uh, which has the screen from the SE on it. The, the 5S screen I put on this thing works, but I need to put it back on this phone. Um, this phone, this screen is water damage, but this 5S fully works otherwise. And it's unlocked. Sorry, had a hiccup. Okay. Um... Oh, also, I'm recording on an iPhone 11. I got it um, from Fit for Mercari for about $50. And it has a bad ESN, 
and uh, dented housing. It's mint condition otherwise, and it's inbred. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video and keep uh, taking out the other bit. I'm back. So here we've got a Galaxy Amp Prime. This thing has is Google locked, but it has a bad Wi-Fi. I don't it, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. I don't know how to fix it. Um, it's Google locked, and I can't even set it up. But it, I, guess, I would presume it's fully working besides the Wi-Fi. I can't even bypass Google lock because obviously the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Um, here is a Moto X uh, on some weird carrier that I forgot the name of. Fully working, just really bad condition, even though it's not cracked. Here I have a Galaxy Express 3, fully working. S4, Verizon, fully working, just cracked. Core Prime, this was my old main phone. I actually chipped it and I, when I dropped it in a case once. It's fully working, and I mained this in like 2014, I think. I don't remember what year, maybe 15, 16. J3, uh, bad LCD, another J3, bad LCD, and a third J3 with a bad LCD. So, here we have a J... I think this is a newer J3, I forgot the name of it, but this thing works, it's just cracked. Got a Galaxy S4, this thing has a bad motherboard, but the screen works, I just need to get a donor motherboard for it. And the motherboard just doesn't work, I don't know what's wrong with it. Just doesn't do anything, even with a charged battery. You have a core prime fully working. I don't think there's any issues with this. I wonder if it has a charge. I think it's just perfect. I don't I don't think there's any issues with this phone. And we've got another one. I believe this one has a bad LCD and it was water damaged. Yep. Um let's put this stuff back. Here we have this Samsung thing. It's missing the volume keys and it's like some rugged phone. It works fine. It's just old. Here I have this phone. I tried to put a custom ROM on it, but I messed it up and now it won't root, so I can't do it. And I forgot the name of it. Is this another Core Prime? Oh, yeah. Fully working Verizon Core Prime. I forgot I had this thing. Then a Galaxy S4. The motherboard on this thing does work, but it doesn't. The same. It's, it's strange. I think it's getting an issue where the volume button's always being pressed, like another S4 I had. It's like some weird motherboard issue that a lot of S4s get, I've noticed. Um, Here I have a Moto thingy. I don't, I don't know the name of this. It has a bad battery. Droid... Moto Droid 4. It... Where's the back cover? Okay, the, ba the back cover is supposed to be on it, but I don't know where it is. Um, this thing's fully working. It's just old and bad. Moto E4. This touchscreen is strange. It's weird. Here I have this thing. I forgot the name of it. Uh, it fully works. It's just cracked. Then I have two Moto Z Plays. Um, both of these... This one has no screen, and this one has a bad AMOLED. The one below it. And then let's go into the other ones. Here we have a Moto Droid Razor M, fully working. It's just really slow. I believe it has a dying NAN chip. Moto Droid 3, fully working case, or with a case. Here I have a, I don't, I don't remember the name of this phone, but this thing fully works. It's just really bad condition. Really scratched and just, I don't know, it's just weird. Moto E2, this one fully works. It's on AT&T. Could probably get unlocked. Oh, here's my third Moto G I was talking about. Um, I'm unaware of what carrier, or what's, what even is up with this one. Is it charged? No. This might be my Android 10 one. I really have no idea. Um, oh, there's the Moto Droid 4 back. And then we've got this Moto Droid 2. This thing, I believe, doesn't work. Yeah, this thing doesn't work. I don't know what the issue with this is. And the screen, like, pops out sideways. And, and it's, it's weird. Or, like, I know, I know it pops out like this, but, like, it's like the hinge is just messed up. Here we've got this Galaxy S3 Mini, fully working with a screen protector in case. No issues with that. Um, Samsung Windows Phone, fully working. Nexus S, fully working. Here we've got a Galaxy uh, Light, fully working. Just has some scratches on the housing. Another Galaxy Light. This is my first Target bin find that was a cell phone. This thing's fully working. Both of these are on the custom ROM of Android 5 as well. Oh, here's an HTC. This shouldn't be in this bin. Um, this thing has a bad touch screen, I believe. I'm just gonna put it in this bin. I think that's the HEC bin, I don't know. Then we've got another Galaxy Light, which is fully working on a custom ROM of Android 5. So we put all this stuff back, model number. Eight, um, LG T-Mobile, what's it called? My Touch phone, fully working. This LG has a bad motherboard. I don't know what it is. It's like an F3. Here I have an LG... I, I always forget the name of these things. Um, this one has a bad LCD. LG Stylo 2, um, fully working, uh, believe the motherboard is, actually, I forgot, what, what's wrong with this? I don't, I think this just works, it's just weird, and then here I have another Stylo 2 with a bad touchscreen. 
this phone I got a long time ago and it just never worked for some reason. I think it has a bad charging port. Here I have an LG thingy. This thing works. It's just cracked. Another one. Um, this thing works. Just old and yeah. Another one old. LG Aristo. Bad LCD. Another one with a bad LCD. Then I've got another one of those LG things I was talking about earlier. I'm not going to remember most of the names of these things. I'm just going to say they're fully they're fully working or not. That thing fully works. This thing fully works. I forgot the name of this again. Um, this thing... Oh, this is my first, like, good Android phone that I made. It's an LG L90, or Ultimate 2. Um, the motherboard actually broke while sitting in storage. It's like, they're just an LG thing, pretty much. But, yeah, it used to fully work. I, I cracked it once when I was maining it. But it was mint otherwise, I guess. Sad that it doesn't work anymore, though. Um, this LG thing fully works. Then I've got another bad LCD LG. I think this is supposed to be like a K30, but it's like a really cheap version of it. With half the storage that it usually is. And it has a plastic back instead of a metal one. LG Lucky. I got this one, I believe. Oh, no. This one is from a Target bin. I got, I believe I got a brand new one, though, for like $10 from Staples. And then we've got this LG thing. That thing fully works as well. I have a bunch of those. This is an Alcatel. I don't know what it's doing in this bin. I'll, like, slap it in there. It doesn't work. It's broken. It just never worked. LG, a bad screen. LG, bad screen. The motherboard. I don't know. I don't know which ones have a bad motherboard. I'm pretty sure one does, and it's... Yeah. This LG G4 Vigor I've, needs a battery. I've never gotten it to work because I never got a battery for it, and they're, like, $20. And I'm not paying $20 for an LG G4 or a battery. Alcatel Raven, this thing fully works, it just has a hairline crack, this thing works, just has a bad screen, I don't know what an Alcatel is doing in here again, oh, I guess this is my Alcatel bin, hold on, here I have an Alcatel thing that was, like, from an old person's carrier, it has the, it had the back from this, a jitter, it's a jitterbug, um, but it runs Android, and it's fine, it just works, and then I've got this one, which is my mom's old phone, which has a motherboard issue, apparently these get motherboard issues over time, where they just boot loop, this one does not have that, but this one does. And I swapped the good, the non, like, weird jitterbug great call back um, for my mom's phone. This is my mom's phone, old back. Yeah, I don't have a use for these phones. They're just sitting. LG, bad motherboard. All of these ones always have bad motherboards. I don't know what's wrong with them. This is my only LG Leon. Oh, no, no. This, this one is a bad uh, screen, but this is my only working LG Leon screen. And it's, like, demolished, but it works somehow fully. Um, I have a bad motherboard inside of it, though, because I'm, I don't know. Then I've got this blue LG G, or LG, um, Leon, and it has a bad screen, even though it's mint. Like, all of them are pretty much bad screen. So, yeah, let me just put all this stuff back. I already took out the rest of the bins, so I could just put these back, and then I'll be done. So, let me just here. It's, like, it's custom. This is a housing, this is a screen from, um, dang it, I'll show you, I guess, when I when I get another one, but this thing has, like, a housing and back from another phone that's, like, has, it's, like, a different motherboard, but it's, like, the same, like, like, I guess casing and stuff, and it has a non, like, bloated screen. I don't know. I'll show you once I find the other one. Um, here I have this CTE. It's, uh, I've forgotten. It's, like, a Maven. It works. It's just old and stinky. Here is another ZTE. This, oh, this is the one I swapped the back on. Okay. Personally, um, I prefer the, the look of this screen over this one, and, um, because it has a ZTE logo, and this one just has nothing. So I swapped the back from this one onto this one, and vice versa. This And also, this one had a Cricut logo, and this one does not. So this phone's just better, because this one has a bad motherboard. And yeah, that's pretty much it. ZTE Maven again, I think. This is a 3, and it works. Coolpad Catalyst, I think. it uh, It's cracked, but it works. I think it has a... Actually, it might have a motherboard issue. I'm not quite sure. HTC 3D, it works. Um, Huawei on consumer cellular, Android 4, it works. It's a bad phone, though. Here's a ZTE I got from the Target bin, like, yesterday, it works. Another ZTE, it needs a battery, but I believe it works otherwise. ZTE works fine. Kyocera Hydro. Um, I think this one works fine. And then I have another one with a bad LCD. I think this is the, yeah, it's the one that doesn't work, because it has a weird back. It has a bad LCD. Then I've got a cool pad. I've never got a battery for this. I think it's a cool pad. Ah, I forgot the name. Um, yeah, it works. Just needs a battery. And I'm not going to buy one because it's a stinky phone. Yeah, uh, I've got an HTC. Um, dang it. I forgot. It's an HTC Droid phone, but it's like a really nice phone. I, it just has like a really bad casing. It works, though. I got it in a trade with Deja. 
here's a giant RCA Android 4 phone. I got this from Target bin, and then I've got this thing. What is this? This is ZTE, right? I think this is a ZTE. Um, this thing fully works. It's just insanely ugly. I don't, I don't really like it. It's on like some version of Android 4 as well. And then here I've got this HTC. It has a bad touchscreen. ZTE government phone. Um, it's fully working. It has like free text and data and stuff. Here I've got this Kyocera Hydro. Or not Hydro. It's like a Dura Force. I don't know. It's just some weird... Oh, it's a Casio. Huh, I thought this was a Kyocera. I don't know. It works. It's just old. On Android 2 or something. Uh, Alcatel One Touch. Uh, it has a screen protector. It's cracked. It's not actually cracked, but it works. It's a Pixie Glitz. Here I have this weird China phone thing. It might have been a government phone. I don't know. It works. Uh, Kyocera thing with the two screens. I forgot the name of it, but it's a good phone. It fully works. It's on a version of Android 2. This is a Kyocera event. This is my first Android phone, but this thing is garbage. It has like 512 megabytes of RAM, and it can't even run Android 4. Like, sometimes this thing would just say Android has stopped working, and then it would restart. Like, it's, it's just it's just bad. It's terrible. Um, probably has like a single-core CPU. Here I have the CT Majesty thing. Uh, it fully works. I think that's the name of it. HTC, this thing fully works. It's just, uh, I don't know. It just works. Then I've got this thing. This is a Moxie phone. It has a doesn't have a battery, so I can't use it. It's like some weird Chinese phone. I've never found one ever again. This is another weird Chinese phone. I think this is... I don't think this is actually Vodafone. It's just like a weird knockoff Vodafone logo or something. I don't know. ZTE... Uh, what was it called? I don't know. It's it's strange. It looks like an LG Ultimate 2 on the back, though. Then another Majesty. Touch so, yeah. Gen. This thing is mint condition, 32 gigabytes, but the battery is going bad, sadly. I don't even know if the battery still works, but it, it had really bad battery life. But it's literally mint. It has it. Had, I'm a, I got it from a Target bin, and I'm assuming it had all the seals and case and stuff on it when I got. Or it didn't have this case on it, but I'm assuming it had like a case on it its entire life, along with the seal stuff on the back. It's mint condition. And it's the 32 gigabyte model. Sadly, there's a 64 gigabyte model, so it's not the max that one, but it's still nice regardless. Here I have some Windows Phone. I think it has a bad charging port, so I've never got it to work. LG, or no, no, Google, or Samsung Nexus thing. It, it, I think it's just called the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It works, but it has a bad screen. ZTE Z Max original, fully working with a case. And then a ZTE Z Max Pro, fully working with a case. But it has some, like, weird LCD spots, but it works fine. Um, Nokia Windows Phone, no battery. I, I presume it works otherwise. Um, Nokia Windows Phone, this thing works. I got the summer car for, like, $12 just because I thought it looked cool. That was really the only reason I got it. It came with a, another gr a green back, and it came with this orange one as well. Nokia Windows Phone. It's on some, like, Nokia Windows 10 or, or like, Windows 10. Yeah, it's a Nokia phone. It works. Oh, no, it's, isn't, is this a Nokia? I don't know. I think this is. It works. And then I've got an HTC Desire 8X, I think. It's on Windows 8 or something. It fully works. It's just old. So... That's pretty much that. And then we'll go on the left side. Uh, this is, like, this used to be, I think this used to be a lighter. I don't know why it's in here. It's literally empty. I just found it in, like, a cupboard in our house. And it just looked cool. It's the only reason it's in here. I don't know. Um, here's the Huawei phone that I got literally yesterday. Um, I'm going to put out a video. I don't know if this video is going to come out first or if the video with this in it is going to come out first. But it's on Android 2 and it fully works. Then here I've got... Oh, if you're wondering why iPods and Apple stuff is in here, it's because I actually ran out of space in my Apple bin. An HTC, or an HTC Desire, uh, or not, no, not, it's an HTC G1. It's the original Android phone. This thing fully works. Um, Alcatel Ideal, fully working. Moto Droid Bionic, two of them fully working on custom ROMs. Here I have my mom's old phone. This is what literally got me into, like, YouTube. And, like, I, wa I watched, like, Minecraft videos on this in 2012. On like and it's on on its Android to YouTube. It was just it was just amazing. I watched like a lot of stuff on this. I this is a reminds me of good memories. It's my mom's old phone, iPod. It's like second touch, second gen or something. I don't know. Uh, literally, I, all of mine work. Like I haven't gotten a single iPod touch second gen that has a bad anything besides like maybe it's cracked. That one works fine though. BlackBerry Z10, I think it works. Another one. HTC thingy. I've got two of these. One oh, I've got a lot of Android 2 phones, by the way, in this giant bin, which I'm not even gonna go over this, but there's just a ton of them. There's a lot of Android 2 phones in there that I just don't care for, and that's why they're in there. So I'm not gonna be going over those. 
these are just like my nice Android two phones and like interesting things. iPod, this thing works. I've literally got so many of these. This thing has a bad touchscreen. It has a screen protector. This thing works. It's some weird Samsung and AT and T. HTC. Um, this is the HTC. What is this called? The Evo four G. I think. Fully working. Here I have an LG. I don't know why this, why an LG is in this bin, but this thing fully works. Let me just go put this in the LG bin. HTC, this thing has a bad motherboard, it's water damaged. This thing has a bad touch screen. It's 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 made out of like metal right here, but the rest is like soft touch plastic. US cellular HTC, the housing's like coming apart. Or right, where is it? Right here. I got this a long, long time ago, like three years ago. It fully works though. Uh UMX phone, this is a free government phone. I used to have two of these. I don't know what happened to the second one. I think I gave it to Dejan and he smashed it or something. Well, yeah, it fully works. I think actually, I think I have two mint ones, and then I had one cracked one. I don't know what happened to that. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I just, yep, that's my entire phone collection. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And if let me know if you guys thought I have a decent collection or not, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.